Hello, it's uh, Gabriel Cross again for another episode of Final Fantasy XIV the video cast. Um, in coordination with the two Copper Bell Mines I uh, just released on games I figured I'd just do a Copper Bell Mines video as I cover uh, all the recent happenings in Final Fantasy XIV. So, as most of us already know, the, uh, the live letter came out uh, this past Saturday. I actually missed it, so I had to do some uh, research from the Reinhardt uh, translation. So, kind of disappointed that I actually missed the actual live letter. But I got all the information anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The big thing about the live letter was uh, definitely the housing. They really wanted to focus on the housing, I guess. Um, they also leaked uh, some images on other stuff. Uh, and I say leaked in a very sarcastic way because I'm pretty sure they uh, planned it. If I remember, I'll put in a character doing some air quotes at the end just because that's pretty much how that feels. Anyways, so they showed us the the real AF2 because apparently the mythology gear is not AF2. Uh, Dragoons with a Kane Highland kind of feel to it. Uh, then there's the they showed the bard with the uh, multicolor stuff uh, still. And showed the warrior. It's. I actually kind of like the warrior look more like look like more like a barbarian type feel to it than the current stuff. So it kind of fit more with the warrior than anything from the game so far, and it fit more than the old Final Fantasy XI stuff as well. Cause that was horrible. So yeah, I really like the. Uh, warrior images that I saw for. And they also showed uh, the summoner one. Um, I don't know, I really don't know what to think about the summoner one. I didn't see where it looked that much different than the uh, regular AF gear. So, not too impressed with that one. They showed another image. Now, I'm not sure if it was White Mage and Scala or just random other gear sets. So, we'll see when they release more information on that. And then they also showed the Allegan 2 set uh, for, for male and then the uh, actual tank set. Family as well. So both of those look really cool. I'm not sure if you've seen the Elgin uh, One sets, which I think look decently cool as well. But these these two these two uh, outfits completely beat those. So there's that. And as you can see, I'm progressing smoothly in this uh, couple of dumb lines. This Lancer, however, doesn't know the Lancer rotations and is pretty much useless in this whole dungeon. Yeah, so, I was a bit annoyed about that. And, as you can see, I'm on Gladiator. Just keeping hate on everything like a boss. 
And this is actually my main character. Uh, as in the last episode, I showed you the character I created just to do low-level mage stuff. This one is indeed my main character. And uh, some updates for me as far as in-game. I've got my Relic Plus One Lance for my Dragoon. And Free Company cleared turn one for the first time last night. And I got uh, the Dragoon Pants as well. So, that's pretty cool. I expect I'll be doing a uh, turn one guide in the near future. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing video for it yet or not, but there is that. Uh, also, I moved back to my uh, legacy server with the uh, free transfers, so. And that's pretty much it, I guess, for as far as current updates. Um, hmm, what else can I talk about? Uh, I guess I can talk about the actual housing itself. Um, it seems you actually have to buy a plot of land with Gil, not the company credits, so company credits are really useless. Um, not a, not sure why they implemented them as a, as a big thing when you're really only able to use them for buffs, and buffs are really cheap, and most free companies can gather up like several thousand, several hundred thousand uh, credits really fast, so yeah, it's pretty much a useless system at the moment. Uh, the, the furniture is mostly crafting, uh, so crafted jobs get some more use. Uh, which is pretty cool because at the moment uh, I've not really crafted anything with my level 50 crafters. And uh, gathering jobs got a buff recently, uh, so that now they're easier to level. They're getting uh, boosted experience now, which is pretty cool. I need to finish up my mining. I think it's at like 38, 39 at the moment. With my pot like 50 already, so. And. Hmm. I guess I could mention that the airships be created in the basement of the houses. I'm not really sure why you need an airship. But, uh, there's that. And, hmm. I guess we're just watching copy that mines. Actually thinking about cutting out most of the uh, most of the trash mods in this, and they're just mostly the uh, the boss fights. Going from there. So here's the uh, first boss, if you can call it a boss. It's really just bunch of uh, weak mobs and, and a little less weak mob but there's really no mechanic to it it's kill everything and move on 
so exciting. As you can see, the numbers of uh, Spurgeon slowly increases. So we get to be large groups. That's usually not a big wait in between waves like that. Because we just kill them really fast. Because of the armor page knowing what they do. Definitely wanna focus those bombs down as soon as they spawn. And then there's the technically boss of this fight. As you can see, it's they push over and really worthless. And that's the first boss fight. And moving on. So I uh, take the time to explain the second boss to uh, the Jupiter part, I guess Lancer. And apparently he didn't get it. So. Yeah. yeah, as you can see, the Dragoon, or the Lancer, sitting there attacking the slime when he's supposed to be hitting the 11. And he's going to get his Pulling the bomb to the slime like it's supposed to. Just tagging it one good time so that it speeds up its explosion. And then slime splits. They really don't do much damage overall. Had to take pick up the sprig in there too. Which luckily the bomb kills the sprig as well. So yeah, I pretty much soloed this fight with the wheel. And they actually killed the spreading so I was good. And like I 
this point you just kill the remaining slime clones. And that's it. So that's that's it for boss number two. And here's the final boss. But yeah, I cut out a whole lot of the trash mobs because I was just getting bored with my own video, so I figured not anyone else would want to see it either. So I uh, skipped to the bosses. Since I really had nothing left uh, to bring up for this week. So uh, the way we did it, we just uh, pretty much burned the boss. And I almost didn't make it any time. You can see he's uh, dropping pretty fast. Which is always good. Yeah, that's a pretty simple fight. I shouldn't be tanking him right here when I could have pulled him back to the middle though. Wasn't a really intelligent uh, thought out plan. To the middle of the time line. This run's about to get really hectic though because we did not have enough DPS to kill him before the other rock broke. At this point, the, the Lancer should have let me break, or, yeah, let me break the boss, and I told him to do so several times, and he did not. As you can see, I'm getting my face beat in, really painfully. I go telling the Lancer several times to limit the fight. And instead he just continues poking stuff with his stuff. Because it's stuff and things. And then that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out these uh, uh, different uh, websites if you're looking for anything in particular relating to gaming or. Uh, gaming communities. So, uh, see you in two weeks.